Hi there, this is Jen and thanks for joining me today. Today I am participating in the Oso oh Inspired Collaboration, which is hosted by Crafty Al. And for the month of July, we were inspired by Carol H. with this beautiful birthday card. Um, and since it is July, I thought I'd go ahead and use the trees as the inspiration to create a um, Christmas card. And so I'm grabbing some dies from my stash. And these dies are from Creative Expressions. And it's a set of trees that have the skinny portion and then it has kind of like a solid tree background so you can layer them <clears throat> but my original idea was just to use the skinny uh, dies and so i went ahead and i cut out three of the shorter trees and three of the taller trees using some bristle smooth cardstock and then i'm going to take my lavinia elements inks and color these up so this is more of a pastel christmas card um, not so much a traditional Christmas card um, but I'm gonna go ahead and color all of these up and I wasn't really going for the colors of the rainbow I just wanted there to be different colors and um, my idea kind of fell apart <laughs> when I tried to put these onto a card panel uh, you just couldn't really tell what they were and so what I ended up doing was grabbing a circle um, a die from my stash and cutting the circle out. I believe this is a three and three quarters size circle. And then I'm going to um, adhere all of those trees to um, the circle and then um, have this kind of be my background more than anything. And so um, I'll go ahead and trim off the um, excess hanging over the edges with my scissors. And then here is the other, one of the other dies that come in the set. Um, so basically how the set works is you would take those skinnier pieces and layer them on top of this solid piece. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and color this one up. I am using my Distress Spray Stains Twisted Citron. Uh, I just sprayed a little bit of that and then I spritz that with water. And then I'm taking Mowed Lawn and I am just gonna kind of splatter that onto the top of the tree just to give it um, a kind of a variation in the green color. And the reason I'm using a green tree is because um, it just so happened that the green tree that is on that circle is going to be covered up. Um, and then I try to do a little bit of dry embossing with a stencil and that doesn't work out for me all the time. I don't know, um, sometimes I forget what layers or what my layers are for my sandwich. Um, so that didn't come out um, perfectly fine, but hopefully you can see that little bit of background uh, when I go ahead and show the card close up. And then I'm gonna pop the tree up. So I have added a bunch of foam to the back. If you don't have foam, you can always take the die and actually it would have been easier to take the die and create um, extra layers by adhering um, the or stacking the die cuts on top of each other. Um, but yeah, I didn't do that. I just used some foam and I'll go ahead and adhere that um, over the um, background trees. And then for the um, snow effect, I am taking some white ink and adding a little bit of splatter. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of sparkle with the Kuritake Starry Nights uh, metallic watercolors and then for my sentiment this is a layering die it just is going to say ho 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 and so i've already attached the top ho and then for the bottom um, it's going to sit on the tree and so the top part of the letters i'm going to add liquid adhesive and then i've added some foam to the bottom so that it doesn't um, get smushed if i do choose to mail this and and I almost forgot to mention that this is a hashtag hop. So if you click on the hop in the description or my title, that will take you to everybody in the collaboration, actually not a hop. Um, or you can go to Crafty Owl's YouTube channel. She will have um, everybody's video links there as well. Um, and then if you are inspired by this collaboration, you can go ahead and use the hashtag I was oh so inspired to let us see all your beautiful creations. Um, but that is it for me today. If you liked this video or found it informative, I would love a thumbs up. And as always, I thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I hope to see you next time.